Hi, in this video we'll be explaining how machine tracking works in CleanCloud. Let's go to the admin section and then let's go to washers and dryers. This is where we can set up the relevant washers and dryers and some key configurations for them. You can add a washer by clicking on the button at the top right and just enter the relevant information such as manufacturer, model name number, ID, a machine name, size capacity, purchase date, etc, etc. Make sure to fill in each of these fields. If you are otherwise going to assign a barcode to this washer so that you can then scan the order receipt and then the washer to assign the order to that relevant washer, input a barcode number here. If not, feel free to leave this blank. Make sure to also apply this use for wash, dry and fold if you would like to assign orders to this washer. Same thing applies otherwise for the dryer. You have the same kind of fields input the relevant information and hit submit to add the dryers. Once you've added washers and dryers you're going to see them listed here. Below you'll be able to set some key configurations. For example, I'd first recommend enabling this switch here to assign orders to washers and dryers. Once you activate this and hit submit later, you'll see a machines tab appear at the top. You can also apply some other configurations. For instance, would you like to ask the customer for their preference of temperature for wash and dryer? Would you like to track the folding stage of the orders as well? And there's other options as well that would be very useful, such as actions when emptying dryer, what will happen next as soon as you mark an order as emptied from the dryer, what happens when otherwise you mark an order as folded, and then you've got some not notifications that you can enable. So for instance, once the washing cycle is completed, you could have a notification come up with a sound to let you know of this. You can also choose for that notification to appear until otherwise you click on it, which is until dismissed. Otherwise, if you'd like that notification to appear on your screen for only a certain amount of time, feel free to establish that from here. You can also then choose the washer times. So if your washing cycle cycles are 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you can just leave them at 20 and 30 in this field here. Make sure that they're separated by a comma and there should be no space in between. You can then set a default time for the washers. You can apply this information as well for the dryers. Once you've applied all the relevant information, hit submit. Now let's have a look at how to assign orders to washers and dryers. If you have orders on the cleaning page, you can assign these to the washer and then the dryer. Just click on the machine symbol which is on the right hand side of the order. You can then say I'm assigning this to a washer. You can input the temperature, a time for it. If you need to input a cost, input it in this field. And you can also then add in a note if necessary. Then hit submit. You'll now see this order in washer 1. At 12.14 you'd get notified that this order is ready and therefore you can send it to the dryer. Then, when it's in the dryer and that cycle's completed, you can then send it to the folding section just by clicking on empty dryer. Then you'll see this old order in the folding section and you can mark it as folded once done. Once you've marked it as folded, you could then assign the order to a rack location to say that this order is now complete and it will move over to ready. Another thing to note about assigning orders to washers and dryers is that you can also do this directly from this cleaning section. For instance, if I assign this order here 297 to the washer, we can see on this same page that's indicating to you in which washer it currently is, and it says W1 to indicate it's in washer 1. If I click on W1, it will prompt me then to assign this order to the dryer. Once I've assigned the order to the dryer, again I'll see this in information indicated to me on the right hand side of the order. In this case it's in dryer 1. Once the drying cycle is completed, I can click on that same button and that will move it over to the folding section. Thank you for watching. To learn more about CleanCloud, simply email us at sales at clean.com.